Hey there, Bob from Insidium here. It's Top Tip Tuesday time. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use an open VDB mesher to mesh multiple emitters. And then we can create object IDs for each emitter. So then at render time, we can assign a different color to each particle, even though this is all in one mesh. So let's get started. In our scene, we have our cached viscous sim, and this has three emitters, and you can see the particles from each emitter are colored differently here. So what we're going to do is mesh this first and then separate out those colors in one redshift material. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Generators, and bring in an open VDB mesher. Within this, we need to drag each of our emitters and then those particles will get meshed. Let's hit NB to see the lines and let's come out of this redshift camera. So what we're looking for here is the kind of resolution of this mesh, which is decided by the uh, voxel size. And this is a little bit too big here. So let's put this down to maybe two and let's go a little bit lower than that even 1.5 and let's hit na to hide those lines so now we have this so that is the kind of resolution of our mesh sorted but this is way too blobby so let's go down to our point options and by default there is a point radius of 10 and what this means is this times the particle radius by this amount which gives you kind of a blob of volume around each particle point so 10 times the particle radius is way too much let's put this down to maybe i don't know let's go down to four and now we have got that let's just have a look at that mesh and that's looking okay so now what we need to do is smoothen this off a little bit so let's go up to our filters activate filters i'm going to take off this median uh, 99 times out of 100 when i'm meshing uh, fluids i'll just use a curvature let's go to our curvature now you may think that's not enough and this is on 100 percent strength but we're able to add iterations let's put this up to say seven and that's smoothed that off nicely that's looking good and now we can play this through and we've got our meshed blobby fluid particles Okay, we'll go back into our redshift camera and that's looking cool right so now what we want to do is color these uh, particles so what I'm going to do is just go to my redshift uh, render view and let's just dock that here and hit render and we're rendering our mesh and our bust so let's uh, we need a material for this obviously so let's go to our material manager double click and we'll make a new material and in this material we are going to just make this kind of give it a nice subsurface look so in the standard node let's come down and go to our subsurface options we're going to add let's just make a bit more room here we're going to add a uh, full weight and we're going to make this maybe let's just do kind of a bit of a pink color something like that but we're going to let the light travel way much further through this. Uh, so let's put our scale up to maybe seven. And see on the thinner bits, there's more light. So it's lighter than the thicker bits. Let's even go more than that. Let's go 10. Something like that is looking nice. Okay, that's going to be our base material. But what we want is a different color goop for each emitter. How are we going to achieve that? Well, what we can do is go to our open VDB mesher and for each object that we're meshing, this could be emitters, it could be objects if you're using objects, what we're able to do is generate, look here, an object ID, which generates a vertex map. So let's click that on there, go to our emitter two, generate an object ID, and then go to emitter three, and generate an object ID and now if we go to our object you can see here look we've got these three vertex maps we click on one we've got one of the goop materials click on the other we've got the middle one and this one we've got the end one excellent the only thing we need to do is smoothen off the joins here let's just stop that rendering if we come in you can see that on the edges we need to feather this off so the way we'll do that is in our let's go to our general for each one of our emitters we can 
um, activate some smoothing let's say seven smoothing that looks all right in this one we'll put seven smoothing and this emitter we'll put seven smoothing so we've got smoothed edges for all of those ids excellent so now we need to mix them in redshift so what we're going to do is this let's open up this material manager and we're just going to give ourselves a little bit of room so what i'm going to do is take this standard material hold control and duplicate it and then do that again so we've got three and in this one we're going to have it exactly the same but in our subsurface options let's just give this a different color let's make this one a green and then in this one in the subsurface we'll make this a kind of orangey color okay and if we solo those that's our green let's hit render and there's our green and there's our orange excellent and now we want to do is uh, we want to mix these together so we're going to double click i'm going to type in blender because what we need is a material blender node there it is let's just put this output up here so the material blender is now going to go into the surface input of this output mode and in the base material let's put our pink and what we want to do is now mix this now you can see look we've got a layer one so let's put our green in material color for layer one and if we go to our material blender we've just plugged this into material color of layer one look here's layer one we've plugged in the color here and the blend color is black so if we just change this to white now it's just seeing the green if we put it to black now it's just seeing the pink so this color is used to blend between the two colors but instead of using a color we can use our vertex maps to do that so let's double click and type in uh, vertex because we want a vertex attribute node and this can read the vertex map basically and the way you do, we do that is with our vertex attribute all we do is drag the vertex map into the attribute name here so let's just take this one drag it into here if I hit solo now look yes we've masked out this one this emitter is just white so if we feed that into our blend color yes now we've got green and pink so all we need to do is add another layer in our material blender look we've got all these different layers we can use and we need to expose these inputs for layer two so let's hold control and click on the material color which makes a material color input and another blend color cool so in material color for layer two let's put our orange one and then we can copy our vertex attribute node let's hold control copy that and in this one let's choose one of our other object ids and put that into our blend color and yes look now we have got green yellow and orange brilliant so that is how we can generate object ids for multiple objects or emitters that are in open vdb meshes and then we can use those object ids which are vertex maps to drive the mixing of colors in redshift